How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 13 shootout commentary. One of the last shootout commentaries for NHL 13. NHL 14, less than a week away now, Jesus. Well, pretty much. You guys know what I'm talking about. And um, for anyone who was wondering where I've been the last week, I took some time off. After I did that NHL 13 review, I just I did not want to be in this damn recording studio at all. I mean, I spent so much damn time in here. You guys don't even know. I mean, the damn NHL 13 review, when I did the first one, way back when I said it was almost done, I had like two, two and a half hours worth of, uh, worth of commentary that I wanted to get footage behind. But that's just way too long. I mean, I thought like an hour might be too long, but... It was just, I couldn't fit it all in, man. And I deliberately uh, left things out just because I had to cut it down. It was ridiculous. I mean, I could talk about that game or this game for like three, four hours straight, man. But Jesus, when I did that, I honestly did not want to be in this room down here recording for any, any amount of time. I mean, I spent 18 hours straight down here. Then I took like a three hour nap. When I, when I came back downstairs, did like another 14 hour shift. <laughs> Went upstairs, had like a two hour nap. Came back down, finished it off in like the last eight hours. Then it had to like uh, render. So I went upstairs, slept for like another hour, came back down, started uploading it. Took like another two hours to upload that damn video. What the hell? I can't find anybody? Come on. Uh, browse available game sessions. What's going on here? Nobody uh, in a damn shootout? All right, I'll make my own then. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. You know this is actually good because I got some time to talk about this. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the NHL 13 review. Me and the great Domsky, we put so much goddamn time and effort into that. And I hope it showed. But man, honestly, you, you guys should have heard some of the things that I was talking about Hockey Ultimate Team. Uh, that I ended up cutting out just because, man, I ranted on Hockey Ultimate Team for like a good hour. You know what I'm thinking about doing for uh, going forward when it comes to NHL 14? When it comes to a review, say like, uh, I don't know, four or five months in, doing more of a, like a video that's just dedicated to the review of EASHL, right? Then doing another video that's just dedicated to GM mode review. Uh, versus mode review, hockey ultimate team mode review, instead of stuffing it into a whole game review, because, geez, again, I could have talked for, like, easily two hours. Where the hell is everybody? Why can't I find a damn shootout commentary? I know it's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, but shouldn't there be some fantastic fins or some, some super Swedes on? Come on now, here we go, let's go, I can't talk forever. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll do the magic of video editing, all right? I'll just keep on recording, and as soon as somebody gets in, I'll clip. Oh, never mind. There you go. All right, here we go. So because I don't know how many more shootout commentaries for NHL 13 I'm going to do, well, let's just try the Toronto Maple Leafs out, okay? If I know my team, I can use Phil the Thrill or Joffrey Lupo and get that superb man shot. So I'll just set them up at the uh, the end of the lineup. Uh, we'll get Kadri in there. Nazem. Uh, Kadri. Better sign, Kadri. Uh, Kessel, Bozak, let me switch around Kessel with, uh, Lupul. Uh, there you go, and Garbajowski, get out of here. Oh, you know what, I can actually talk about Gar Garbajowski here. So, you know, great news for Grabowski, gets a sign in, uh, Washington, and you know, he signed his big, uh, big boy contract with Toronto, five years, 5.5 million, gets bought out, kind of sucks, because he's still gonna get paid, but he's not getting that 25 million, right, it's reduced price. But now he's still getting paid from the Toronto Maple Leafs for the next five years, right? He gets this year's one-year, one, uh, one year $3 million contract. And because it's only a one-year deal, if he gets to play alongside Alexander Ovechkin the whole year, ends up getting like 60, 70 points, then he can come back next year in free agency and sign like another three or four, four million dollars a year deal. So he's going to be making more money from this if he plays right. I know he was pissed off uh, by how he left Toronto, but still, man, it's actually, you know, one door closes, another one opens. Oh, good shot. Shot by Claude Giroux. I should have paid attention there. I should have done the flying poke check of Rooney. What do you do? He went low glove or something? Let's see. Oh, yeah. oh, James Reimer glove side. Yep, that's a the most realistic shot I've ever seen in this freaking game. Look at this. Oh yeah. Usually it's high glove, but there was definitely a, a nice space there available. All right. So I want to try and set up the superb man shot. So I got to uh, I got to get off into the lead here. Tyler Bozak. All right. This guy better earn his contract this year, man. Come on now, you're playing alongside of Phil Kessel and JVR. No excuse. What do you got? Whoa, 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 no, oh, no, horrible. I don't know why he, like, he did the shovel shot. I was trying to go back forehand. Let's see that. Let's see. Oh, my God, he shoveled it five hole. You know, I think he would have missed it anyways. I was trying to go back to my forehand and flip it top right, like a right-handed player glove side, but whatever. Danny Breer. All right, what team is he on now? Montreal, right? Yeah, oh, flying poke check Rudy. Get the hell out of here, son. You're going to be seeing plenty of that this year from James Reimer and Bernie Mac. Get out of here, Briere. You ain't taking the Montreal Canadiens past the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> I'm gonna restart the shit talk, man. Hockey's right around the corner. There you go. Nazem Kadri. Um, yeah, I gotta do the, the mitts with Kadri. Oh, you know what we'll do? Watch this. Fake, and then back to the forehand. Oh, it was like that goal that he scored against uh, 
The Pittsburgh Penguins. That was horrible, though. Yeah, I did it way too early. I telegraphed it way too much. He either does, like, the backhand, which he roofs it like he did on Tim Thomas, or he'll fake the backhand, last second, pull across. That looks just like uh, Grabowski. Voracek. It's the European generic face. What do you got for me? Dirty Bird! Oh! Blocker save off a forehand Dirty Bird. That looks dirty. I should have gone in. If he just waited an extra second, I would have been down. He could have just lifted it into the net. But still, that looked dirty. All right, I got to get a goal here. You know what? Um, Right-handed player. What should we do? What should we do? Let's do the Gordie Howe. Yeah, Joffrey Lupul. He's got good enough hands. He shouldn't lose the puck. Come on, don't lose the puck, Joffrey. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, okay, Jesus. I just, I completely lost what the hell I was doing there for a minute. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. It must be early in the morning. Holy crap. I was, I was literally trying to do the Gordie Howe right there. Fakes, it looks, it looked pretty sweet, I guess. But I was not trying to do that. All right, good job, Joffrey. So, if I, I got to keep saving them. Yeah, I got to keep saving them. What do you got for me? Wayne Simmons, fake flying poke check. Fake. Oh, 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 fake backhand. Nah, nah, nah. I thought he was going to go backhand back to the forehand. That's why I didn't really go over. And he, You know what? There was a little bit of space there, but backhanders in this game suck anyway. So I always want to cover that forehand, always. All right, fill the thrill, Kessel. I can't get that uh, superb man shot win with it, but I can try to just use that wrist shot. All right, watch this wrist shot. Phil Kessel's wrist shot. Whoa, oh, there you go. He went butterfly. As soon as he went butterfly, top shelf opens wide up. That's what I like. I remember in NHL 12, I was making that uh, uh, that comparison, being like if a goalie goes butterfly, you should be able to wrist it past them, and they did fix that for this game, for this game. So it's pretty good. All right, so we're up to if I save this, ooh, I gotta let him score. Yeah, I gotta let him score, and then I do the superb man shot. All right, let's take away, force him to a backhand. Maybe he misses the net. Let's see what happens. Read, oh, you hit! <laughs> oh my God! Why does that work all the time? That's like a legitimate technique. Oh my god, I didn't even move. What a goofball. <laughs> so, didn't get to try the superb man shot, which means that I will do at least one more shootout commentary before NHL 14. I gotta try it at least one more time. What a goof. Matt Reed, come on, man. You're better than that. But there you go, all right? So, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Johnny Superb Man and the great Domsky, take it easy, boys, and we'll see you next time.